Yo, what is up guys? Trevor Ross Kavinsky here. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. In today's video, we're going to be going over a pair of Yeezys, the Yeezy 350 Belugas. These are very hyped up and the idea of this video is to kind of help you guys. I typically don't get go into how to cop a single pair of shoes, but this is going to be a massive drop. This is going to be the main drop of the week. People have been talking about these. The hype is real. The aftermarket's actually looking good for a 350, which is kind of surprising me. You don't see that very often anymore. Usually 350s are just bricks unless it's something like this, you know, as it's a rerun. As we've already seen this pair before and it's exact rerun, rerun from what I've been told, they are still the same size as the last time when they dropped so if you are buying this pair of sneakers go 0.5 up or almost a whole size up depending on how wide your foot is for example I am a size 10 so I have to go 10 and a half so they fit my foot or they're gonna be too small um, that's just something I want to get out of the way right at the beginning because I get questions all the time what's sizing on Yeezys this and that and that's what I have to tell you about sizing but there has been some things that I've heard about the wristbands going around if you guys did let me know down in the comments did you get your dick sporting goods wristbands if so some of them are not being guaranteed. I know people around me, at least in my area, got a call from Dick Sporty Goods and said, hey, we didn't get as many pairs as we thought, so we're not going to be able to give you this pair. We're going to give the MX Rocks the week after. So they're going to be doing stuff for MX Rocks, but that's that's a different point. So just be careful with that. If they didn't call you, make sure, maybe call them to make sure they got all their pairs in. They should have called you today. Um, so cancellations or delayed shipments are happening, which that's what it seems like, which really, really sucks. This could make the demand even higher if delayed shipments do happen. Now, I'm not saying that's confirmed. I'm just saying what I've been told around my area. I do know that there are some delayed So there are a lot of sites where you're gonna be able to grab these on Saturday Saturday We're gonna have everything of course foot sites are doing the reservations They're doing the ship to me option that foot locker chance East Bay all those make sure you're checking uh, ship to me Make sure it's you know provided um, and then in-store raffle as well if your stores actually got them I know only like one store around me actually got them for in-store, but I never hit in-store regardless So it is what it is, but I know some of you guys cook on FLX. So take advantage of of this one thing I got to say make sure you enter on all your accounts get multiple accounts do everything you can to get this sneaker because I think it's gonna perform a lot better than I expected um, at first I was like ah, I don't really like it that much we've already seen it but it's really growing on me it's fully reflective as you guys do know and if you are going manual you guys are gonna want to use all these raffles because you know how easy supply is I get you guys every single week on live cops I do the same thing you can't get through easy supply people complain this is the worst site ever you sit there you wait you wait you wait and then once you get through it won't even process your payment most of the time um, I know multiple people have had that issue on stream too so that's why you got to enter your low uh, enter all of your raffles and check your local sneaker boutiques I know my local sneaker boutique is actually getting pairs which is very important to do so because you have a better chance of hitting on those I seem to have a better chance of hitting there than I do have on champs or FLX so I don't have that many points I, I never hit FLX to get my points up, so I don't really do, or I don't really have a lot of points to use. So, and then you have a lot of raffles open on like Alma Manier right now, a couple other places, SNS is open, all your typical or normal sites will be open. Once again, like within Kick Notify, you know the deal. We have a full raffle list for that. Just know that's gonna be very important. Be entering all your raffles, because like I said, if you're a manual user, if you're a manual user, let me know down in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys are manual. You're gonna wanna be using these raffles. Now I know it's tedious, you gotta enter a thousand of them, this and that, but that's what you gotta do if you wanna hit this pair of sneakers. Um, some of the biggest sites are going to be dropping. You know, I don't know if Finish Line or JD will be doing so because they did exclusive access today. If you know that, it is terrible. Um, the site was down. If you got it, congrats. If you bagged exclusive access, I think that's the only way they're dropping. Now, I'm not 100% confirmed on that, but I think that's what they plan to do. I doubt we're going to see on online release, but always be ready for it just in case. Then you got Yeezy Supply. Of course, you got Yeezy Supply. I'll go ahead and go over there. You can see Yeezy Supply is going to be dropping at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, this isn't the first drop of the day, so let me let me backtrack for a second. Your foot sites are going to be dropping at 7 a.m. Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are going to be dropping. If your foot site body, go for it. If you're manual, you know what FLX does. If you're a manual user, you're not going to be able to even have a chance to touch this sneaker unless you're running a bot. Now, using ACO services, uh, if you have access to those within Discords, some Discords will run those, and that's probably one of your best bets when it comes to foot sites. Other than that, then we have Easy Supply. Once again, manual not it's not manual friendly at all. Um, now, this will be at 9 a.m., and you can sit here and try. If you're wanting to do manual, I've seen people hitting manual. I can't lie. Some people um, run multiple devices. Different IP addresses is the key here because that's how you're going to make sure you get through queue. I usually sit through queue the whole time. Uh, I'll run a bot alongside, and I still sit in queue a lot of the time because I'm not running 
running, you know, you know, just that's just how it is. Sometimes it's hard to get through. I'll get through on some task, still can't cart. There's a lot of carting issues, this and that with the kind of the, the programs I've been running, but I know a lot of people have been eating up on user supply here recently with bots. So if you need help with bots, like I said, kick notify, we can help you. I know we help everybody. Um, a lot of new botters get in and they do well. Um, we can help you through that. We got your proxy discounts, Gmail discounts, all the goodies, everything you need. We got you over there, but enough of that. And then your other Shopify sites that may be dropping, be watching your Shopify filter because I know a lot of them did raffles so that means they will not be dropping first come first serve but i'm sure we're gonna see kit drop first come first serve i know shop nice kicks i think has them loaded up um maybe yeah that, that that's probably the most maybe jimmy jazz i'm not really sure i haven't actually seen i know jimmy jazz are, is doing a raffle for these so be ready for that um so those are a couple of the sites now we're gonna look at the aftermarket because this is why i think the hype is really there i haven't seen a yeezy this high this close to time because they drop in two days right you're gonna see this video on thursday drop on saturday morning and it's in two days and they're still at the 380 almost 400 dollars range usually they're getting closer they're getting closer to you know retail by now because the 350 so right now we're looking at you know big sizes seem to be a cookout if you're going for them you know you usually say oh yeezys let's go for the base sizes base sizes but base sizes really aren't as performing as well as these big sizes the 13 uh 10 and a half or 11 11 and a half 12 12 and a half 13 13 and a half really go for those now that's gonna be the harder ones to get once again if you want to secure a pair maybe go for those mid-range sizes but they're holding up well personally i don't think they're gonna hold at 400 dollars, but i can definitely see them being between 300 and 350 now you guys do know they're 240 retail now so they upped it by 20 dollars that means after taxes you're looking like 260 if you hit on easy play like 260 265 just to get to your door so just keep that in mind uh so still if, if we see 350 360 out of them even if they go down to maybe even like 310 320 you're still gonna make a lot of money or 50 60 70 dollar profit on each one if you can stack them up I know local, they're gonna have some buzz around them, so that's gonna be very, very good to do so. I know I had friends around here that had them local, signed up, and ready to sell because, you know, locals are ready. They're ready for them. They're cool. I'm gonna personally, uh, actually personal this. This is gonna be my first Yeezy I'm gonna personal if I hit for retail. I refuse to pay resale for a Yeezy simply because it's a Yeezy, you know my thoughts. If you're new here, I'm not a real big Yeezy guy. Um, I think it's overhyped, but I'm real. This shoe has really grown on me, and it's gonna throw a little, a little bit of difference into the collection behind me. Um, one thing I did forget to mention: get on Adidas right now. Go on your cellular device. Go to Adidas Confirmed, and make sure you sign up for the raffle. Have your mom, your dad, grandma, grandpa, everybody sign up for you. I always have my mom sign up for me too. Thank you, mom, for helping me on those. Sometimes she hits, sometimes I hit. That's how it goes. Well, that's why we sign up on all of our accounts to increase our chances. But overall, the shoe is a cook. Do not leave this out. I know it's a 350. Like, oh, screw the 350s. I don't need them. Go figure out. Go talk to your, give your local sneaker boutiques a call. See if they have pairs because you're not going to want to miss out. This is going to probably be another one of the biggest drops towards the end of the year. I know I keep saying that last week was the biggest one. But, dude, this week, Yeezy hit us with back-to-back-to-back -back -back drops. So that's a good thing. But overall, that's my thoughts on this sneaker. Um, you know, good luck to everybody. If you need help or if you have any questions for me, you know my Instagram's down below or my, my personal Instagram. Not personal, but my kicked, uh, kicked Roscoe is right here. Follow me. Give me some questions. And if you really want where all the details come from, all this information, release guides, uh, shock drop information, all the goodies, you got kick notify right there. We'll help you with all that. Please, if you would, take a second. If you enjoy, did enjoy the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.